There is no way I don't believe I could have done what I did today without cold plunging yesterday. Wow, 46 degrees. Yesterday, I rode four and a half hours on my bike. Today, I just did a half marathon, 13.2 miles. But what was impressive today for me was last week, I rode three hours on Saturday. Sunday, I did 13.26 miles. But my pace last week was uh, 9.44, and I cold plunged after the bike ride last week on Saturday. Today, I did a 9.10 uh, average pace with my, my big run today. And I had a bigger workout yesterday than I did last Saturday. And I cold plunged after both workouts. Just to goes to show you that when you recover the right way, you're able to bounce back and perform at a decent level, if not better, after doing something like a cold plunge. And that's what I did. Of course, I've been hydrating, trying to eat right. Uh, but I cold plunged yesterday after my workout. Today, was I was mentally preparing for the run, hoping I would be able to go, you know, maybe 9.30 pace, just trying to do a little bit better than the last time because it was a week ago. And then as I got going, I said, okay, I'm going I'm to attack this thing the right way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the downhills to my advantage. And I know the uphills are going to be a bit of a chain, challenge. So, you know, let's make up some time on the downhills, earn those downhills by doing the rough uphills. And now here I am. And my legs are spent. I haven't run a 9-10 half marathon in a long time. And it was open, so, but I did have the recovery from yesterday. So I'm very, very pleased. Oh, so I'm getting ready for Ironman uh, Canada, Penticton, less than 10 weeks now. If you've been following this at all, I'm using Cold Plunge as my vlog series, as my, uh, my platform to, <laughs> I get in here and I, I talk. Oh, so uh, Coach Wendy Mater is my coach. You can find her on Training Peaks. If you're an endurance athlete, she is the, uh, the top triathlete coach to go with. So um, I talked to her about uh, this run, and then she made a clip for me about the benefits of hill repeats. It's a two-minute clip, and I'm going to use it here as I sit in this uh, right now. Uh, so play. Here she is. I wanted to talk about hill repeats on the run and the bike because it's my favorite form of training. Training on hills is speed work in disguise and you wanna get stronger to maximize your efforts when you're trying to get faster. And if you're someone like me, I don't really do well with track workouts. It just, I, I tend to be at risk for injury and I just don't really have that quite that speed when I'm doing intensity at the track so I like to do it on a hill. Hills like I did today which is a mile and a half up I can do a threshold workout based on my heart rate zone because I can get my heart rate in that threshold zone over a mile and a half run uphill with 500 feet of elevation gain and then I can work on my speed running downhill which is something that I did today and I was faster running downhill than I am at the track, which you should be because you're going downhill. But some people have limitations running downhill due to knee issues or leg strength issues. And you can also work on running form. While I'm running up, it's more hamstring engagement. I'm able to work more on my knee flexion um, and, and extension, but more for me, I'm working on push off and knee flexion. And then running down is more quad dominant so for me, my post patella surgery, my quads are getting stronger. I'm able to get some speed in on the descents. And so working on technique, threshold, speed, endurance on hills, it's, it's, you know, it's uh, one of those things that you just get so many benefits from hill training. And the same thing on the bike, you can work on pulling back and over the top of the pedal stroke while you're going uphill. And then obviously you get that speed and high cadence riding downhill. All right, coach, thanks a lot. Hill repeats, try them. If you wanna get faster, get stronger. Uh, I was doing that on the bike the other day. Anyhow, thanks coach. Um, if you wanna get a cold plunge, you wanna recover and get back out there and work out harder the next time or be fresher, 
whether you're doing weights, endurance, CrossFit, whatever it may be, uh, use my code Dave150 at checkout at theplunge.com or plunge.com. They got some amazing specials that's going on right now, and they throughout the year. But uh, 150 bucks off your your purchase, whatever you get. If there's a sale on it, you get an additional 150 bucks. Dave150 at checkout. There's a little box there. Just put my my name in there, Dave150, and get the discount. All right, five and a half minutes or so. I'm in the cold plunge. Gonna get out, get some good food, and uh, get some rest and recover the rest of the day. But this is gonna help me tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be an easy day, kind of a, kind of a recovery day of swimming. And then I got a half half uh, Ironman coming up in less than a week. Anyhow, thanks for following the journey. Uh, I hope your training's going well, and I hope you find the benefits of cold water immersion like I have. Been doing this for two years. It has changed my physical and mental health and uh, resilience over the last two years. I'm so glad I got it. So glad. Great investment. I paid for it, and uh, I've I've earned. I've 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 realized the benefit of it every penny. Anyways, that's my story. See you later. Adios. Ah. Uh.